Welcome back to 30 Days of Prayer for Our Children. We're on day 17 now, and we're going to be talking about joy. Joy is something that sometimes get mi- gets mixed up with happiness. I think sometimes we feel like um, if we are striving for joy, that we need to feel happy. And it's very different. I really believe that there's a difference in, in definition there. I think happiness is a feeling. It's something that can be caused by circumstance. It's something that can be robbed away from us by circumstance. But joy is actually a fruit of the Spirit. It's a gift. It's not an emotion. It's not a thing. Um, you know, it's, it's a gift. And so it's a fruit of the Holy Spirit in us. And I think that's exciting. And so joy can remain as constant as the Spirit that it comes from. And regardless of what curveballs life might throw our way, you know, like we've talked about before, Jesus said, in this world, you're going to have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Take heart. You have the Holy Spirit in you producing joy, even when you're like Paul imprisoned, even when you're suffering bodily, being tortured for Christ. I mean, there is joy. How can you have joy in those circumstances? But you can by the grace of God, through the Holy Spirit's fruit. So that's what we need to pray for our kids. Again, just detaching ourselves from this idea that making our kids happy is for their best. And it's not always, and oh, it's so hard. (laughs) But joy is for their best. So we can pray, not that they would be happy, because I think of, um, you know, the scripture that talks about discipline. No discipline is pleasant at the time, but painful. But it will produce a harvest of righteousness and fruit for those who are trained up under it. Discipline might make you feel sad. It might make your kids sad. I Just two nights ago, I had a very sad time with my daughter because I had to discipline her for something that she did. And it made me sad. I cried. She cried. But it will produce a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who are trained up under it. And it will produce joy. Okay. Discipline directly results in unhappiness, but it will produce a harvest of joy and peace and righteousness. So I just think we need to remember when we have these times of seeing our children maybe unhappy or emotionally not super happy, not content, um, we need to be praying for joy because that joy can be present even in the midst of all of those other things. And that's not to say happiness isn't also a gift from God. Um, God created happiness. He created our hormones that produce, um, you know, the endorphins that give us that fluttery, happy feeling in our stomach. God made those. He gave that to us and we should embrace that. And it's not that we should strive for this stoic idea of, I only want to suffer so that joy will be produced as a fruit of the spirit because that's not the case. Happiness is good too. And happiness can coexist with joy. And so I just think though that rather than focusing on the endorphin, happy emotion, we need to practice a focus on the fruit of the spirit, which is joy. So let's pray. Loving Father, we thank you that your Holy Spirit is the source of joy. That no matter what is going on in the world, no matter what's going on in our minds and in our hearts and in our hormones and our uh, bodily functions, our brain chemistry, joy can be present. It can be a fruit of the Spirit. God, we pray for joy for our children. We pray that the joy that comes from you would be their strength through times that are tough, that it would be present no matter what they're going through, no matter what curveballs life decides to pitch our way. Whenever the trouble comes, God, that there would be joy. We want them to overflow with joy. Like in Romans 15, 13, may the God of hope fill them with all joy and peace as they trust in God so that 
they may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. We want that peace, that joy, that overflowing hope that comes from the power of the Holy Spirit to be in them, to come out of them, that every pore of their body would be exuding this joy that would be attractive to others, God, and lead others to follow you, that they would just be a beacon, like a big arrow pointing in the direction of Jesus. God, we just pray for those that are struggling with depression, with chemical imbalances, with mental illness. Father, we can't always pray those things away. We know that. And we just, we pray over them right now, God. I just pray a special blessing on those children in our lives. That the joy of the Lord would well up in their spirits that even if at the moment they feel out of control of their emotions and their feelings, that there would be just a kernel of joy and hope that would well up in them at this moment, that they would feel your spirit surrounding them, God, in a way that never has happened before. That you would give us as caregivers wisdom to know how to help them, to know when prayer is not the last step to know when they need medical care. We pray for doctors to have wisdom, to know how to treat them, to know what medications or dietary changes or lifestyle changes need to happen to help bring their body chemistry in alignment and balance. But in the meantime, God, no matter what, you can give them joy. And we pray that for them, God. Give them spirit joy and hope. In the powerful name of Jesus, God, we pray that. Amen.